سلام به شما عتیق جان و انیل فرجان امروز میخواستیم که یک کم انفرمیشن بگیریم درباره امی چرتی استاپ که شما دارین دیگه خوش آمدین و میخواییم که یک کوتا شما اگر عتیق جان خود معرفی کنین چقدر وقت در استرالیا هستین و غیر از این کار که در چرتی دارین چی است و بعدا از انیل فرجان هم میخواییم امی سوال پرسان کنم تشکر سلام علیکی مال جان تشکر بیادر که ما را دعوت کردید در پروگرام تان ما بسیار خوش شدیم انشالله خوشش میکنیم سوالات را جواب بتیم در فارسی و در انگلیسی و ویدیو ها بست انشالله سی ها ویگو تشکر حتی جان چقدر وقت میشه در استرالیا هستین و غیر از این کار چرتی چی میکنین خود ما 1986 در استرالیا آمدیم 35 سال میشه دیگه دیگه زیاد عمر خدا در اینجا بودیم خب نام خدا غیر از دیگه... کار روزمره تان چی هست که معمولا شما در چی مصروف می باشین اصلا خودم حساب درس اینو اکانتینگ خونده بودم باز تقریبا یک 15 سال است 15 سال در حساب گیف شاپ و ایگاپاس در سیتی در ایست گاردن و نمجا که بیادرم مصروف هستیم فیلا خود لاکداون است بله 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 انشالله که دیگه روزای خوبتر و بهتر بیاید دیگه و نیل فجان شما هم خوش آمدین دیگه اگر بتانین به ما بگین که چقدر وقت استرالیا هستین و پروفیشنتان یا کار روزمریتان غیر از این چرتی چی است سلام ایلا خیمال جان تکی سو مچ فر هاوینگ اس ایف بین این استرالیا ما هول لایف این امیجا تاولوچ در بودان and می بخشین مای فارسی ایز این در گرید سو ایم 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 Um, and I'm currently on maternity leave, um, just looking after my two kids. And like Addie said, in lockdown, so not much going on in the outside world, but that's it. Okay, great. Bozam Tashakur, what kind of the horas, Bamo, Javanoi Kadorim, Gairas, Yone, Koroi, Rosemary Hood, were professional Hood, Hosan by Sobek, organization, a charity group of the Shaboshan Kumakonan. دیگه یک چند سوال است از به حساب ما یک فیسبوک پیج داریم و اونجا یک چند چند هزار وطندارای ما است که از خود سید نیستن دیگه یک چند سوال روان کردن چون متاسفانه وضعیت افغانستان چیز که است و شما امی چند سوال که داریم امی را منشته کردیم و اگر هر کس یا عتیق جان یا نیلی فرجان میتونن امی را جواب بده سوال اولی بوده که ارگنیزیشن شما چی نام داره و جز کی هست و چند نفر دارین و چقدر وقت میشه که امی ارگنیزیشن هست که؟ در سال 2012 ما در سال 2012 ما در سال 9 تا 10 فاملیز و بعد از این 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 از sometimes 12 if you count the part-timers like myself. But um, yeah, nine years down the track from nine families, we've come to 120 families, I believe it is now, wow. that yes, we're sponsoring yes. in our long-term yeah. sponsorship family program. Yeah, wow, that's amazing. So, John, how did you guys come up with that? Is it, was there a few people that decided to do that? Like what, how, what was the feeling or what, what came into mind that you wanted to start something like this? Well, basically, uh, Like Nila Farjan said, we have a team that uh, the team should take all the credit. Alhamdulillah, they're doing great work. No. Uh, there's a lot, around 10 of us here, and also we have eight volunteers in Afghanistan. So yeah. I wish we could, without this COVID, we could sit down and ha- have a face-to-face proper interview. Of but course, yeah. but I'm talking on behalf of everyone here. I don't want to get the full credit on Nila Farjan. But uh, basically, I was thinking about setting up a charity for at least 15 years and right. you know I did support some charities in the US and that and eventually we set up yeah with the name Nilo Farjan uh, the credit goes to Nilo Farjan because she actually came up with the name yeah, for the stop yeah, yeah and yeah. it's uh, the name is very powerful and alhamdulillah we haven't we haven't looked back yeah, we haven't looked yeah. back in terms of changing the name it's it's yeah. it's uh, it makes sense Yeah, uh, both in Afghanistan as well as here, yeah. the foresee translation as yeah. well. Yeah. Um, so basically, I set it up. 
and yep. Nilafar John helped me within the first right. couple of years, and we had right. some other volunteers. Right, right. So, yeah. And uh, Nilafar John, I just wanted to ask as well. So pr- pronounced as stop, but it has an extra T. So um, a lot of our uh, members uh, are asking that does it mean anything? The actual letters, or um, if you can elaborate on yeah. that, please. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. So the abbreviated form is S-T-T-O-P-P and it actually stands for Stop the Tears of Poor People, which summarises our mission in a short little nutshell, because that's exactly what we're about. That's exactly why we started this. And that's exactly what we want to continue doing for many years to come is just stop the tears of poor people. Right. Wonderful. Yeah. And uh, as I said uh, to many of the members and always, uh, you know, the name's always in my mind you know from from a few years so it's not like um people can obviously definitely um contact you guys and see your page you've got facebook page as well and they can call you and um get more information definitely um we, we will be um sharing uh the actual um bsb and account number as well so on the information and on the video as well um so i just wanted to ask uh at the moment, uh, maybe at John or Nilifar John, whoever wants to answer this one. Um, so you guys have launched the appeal. Um, how long has it been and what's the target and how much have you guys raised so far? Okay. Uh, we do appeals normally during the holy month of Ramadan. Uh, whatever, like whether we raise 15,000, 10,000, we send that at the start of month of Ramadan. And occasionally if there's a disaster or there's a, like last year that had that maternity massacre in Kabul, we raised money for that. Uh, winter appeals. So we've done occasional appeals. Uh, although our, our main our main focus is the family sponsorship, which every yeah. three months we send money, $400 for one family, like Nilo Fajon explained. Yeah. We have 121 families right now in Afghanistan. Right. With this appeals, uh, we only do it if it's necessary, like right now. Yeah, that's right. The emergency crisis in Afghanistan, and so far, I think today was day eight, and Alhamdulillah, I think we've raised about uh, twenty six thousand dollars so far. Um, a few more days to go, inshallah. Hopefully, the target, you know, Mashallah. if we can raise 30, 40, 50, whatever, every yeah. dollar will go towards the need, inshallah, in Afghanistan. So. Inshallah, inshallah. No. Uh, خداوند عرض شبت به شما واقعا جوانای هستین که احساس وطن دوستی و در فکر وطن هستین و مردم خود هستین دیگه بسیار مشکل است شما میفهمید در استرالیا یا کشورهای خارج it's, it's best, you just work it's, everyone's busy with their family um, but uh, you guys have set up this and it's it's and it's an ongoing thing as well it's just not for you know this this time as well um, another question um, interesting that we have as well that many of our members sent is um, so with the money like obviously um, there's a lot of speculations about you know charities like how does it work you know that is a hundred percent of the money or um, how, how does it work like how can they be assured that the money is uh, going to the needy people over there so I think Nilo Fajan if you can let us know a little bit about this. Yeah, definitely. So um, that's a great question. And it's a great question that we had ourselves when we, yeah. the whole reason why I think, um, yeah. I think John was triggered to start a charity is because we had the same speculations that a lot of yeah. people still have today is, is yeah. my money really going to reach the poor? Yeah. Is how much of it's going to go into admin fees? How do I know that they're actually giving it out and it's going to all those questions we had in our heads yeah. ourselves. Um, and the way we resolve that is by giving our donors 100% transparency with everything, every single cent that anyone has yeah. ever donated it to stop. You can yeah. be rest assured that it's reached the hands of the poor. And right. we do that by, um, we prove that by showing them video evidence of their donations. Um, right. A lot of the times as well, if they want their names mentioned, or, and we recommend that they do so that the poor can make, those families can make the wall for them, is that their names are also mentioned when the money's being handed over. So of course, of course. We yeah. share the same speculations. We get it. Of we were course. there. And um, that's yeah. why we created this charity. Yeah. I mean, un- unfortunately, the, the the bigger picture is obviously it's it's doing a good deed. Um, helping our people but obviously not not I'm not talking about Australia but there has been in other countries that there's there's been a few bad apples as well and it ruins it for everyone else but obviously as you said that you know 100% of the money goes there you know uh, you know assure our people that 
um, the money is going to the most needed there. Um, and, also, and the reason why we're able, why we're able to give 100% of the donations, I'm sorry, yeah, is yeah. because we cover the expenses ourselves. So right. all the admin fees, it does it does cost a lot to run a charity yeah. organization. Yeah. That, that's why a lot of the yeah. bigger charity yeah. organizations do have to charge an admin fee. Right, because, right. Um, you know, there's money that they spend on wages, on security, yeah. on yeah. Uh, just general administration, yeah. audit, things like that. So we look after all those expenses ourselves so yeah. that our donors know 100% that their money is reaching the poor. Right, yeah, because like obviously bigger organizations like UNICEF and all those other big companies and organizations there. So I guess, you know, um, for whatever reason, sometimes I think it's 20% or more or less like that. So, um, you know, if I would, if I wanted to help and, um, and I encourage other members to do the same, um, I guess I would go, go with someone that's trusted and, you know, 100% of the money is going um, towards the um, needy people back home. So, uh, Atik John, uh, yeah, so all the guys, Shuma Doshim, formula is by so Aminja and the Sydney. I go behind that Nada Tanoha Day Marhala, Kuma Kunanwa, by so be Kuma Ke Mo Nado Shaboshani Kudom Em Kondora Yo Shuma Ida Fall Kadin Da Charity. Bale, Mal John, Mo Ar System Dori. For example, if someone wants, for example, Amo Asli Bastula Karma. Family sponsorship is. But what are we going to do? Better in Kumak, but when Estonians get more pay, they cash the debt. Garibu be chora bete. Who could have shown Garibu be chora? Delish ke baz da sar gaza masraf kat. Delish ke kray khana radat. Amu better as a cash bete mshana. Bale bale. And now, as a mu khater, I mean sponsorship ke mas setup ke dem. Ar chor every three months. Bale. Four hundred dollar cost me kona ke yak formula. Ar افغان یا هر انسان که در هر جای باشه میتونه سپانسر کنه و 400 دلار ما برش میتیم این تو انسا یک کوشن ایمال جان تو دیگر آمه است مثلا شما میتونین تنها میتونه کس 10 دلار هم کمک کنه اما 10 دلار هم یک فامیل در افغانستان ایل فید فامیلی فور تری نایتس نان خوش کشه قلن خمیشه so we don't uh, random payments are welcome five dollar payments are welcome we encourage everyone but, whatever you can do ideally but, to sponsor family even but, that it works out roughly about three dollars a day or something or four dollars or whatever but, it is but random payments 100 percent هر چیزی که مردم میتونه دل کسی که پین دلار کمک کرد یک میلیون کمک کرد ما پیسه رو برای گریبان میرسیم دگاه همو گفته انگلیس ها که every dollar counts and every dollar counts دگاه they shouldn't be shy یا تو احساس نکنن که ای شای ده دلار باشه یک قسم بعد مالو میشم یا صد دلار یا یک هزار مقصد کمک کمک است بخاطر آدم ایچ وقت باید نشرمه یا قسم احساس چی نکنه که کم است یا زیاد است اگر کمک کده میتون از وسط توانش هست که حتما باید دوستا کنن میباشی ایمال جان گفتم گرفتم یک چیز باید سمعت کنم نیل فاجان already answered that but I just want to add something that one of the main reason we set up this charity was because generally Afghans are very generous But not only Afghans, a lot of people of they are, they are gen- humanity, we, we, yeah. ge- we want to give yeah. but if you give The, the, the main reason people are hesitant, the yes. issue is that my money is going to reach there. Bale, Will bale. my money reach there? So that's bale, the problem. Bale, bale. And we want it to be that platform between bale. the contributors bale. and bale. the recipients. Bale. And alhamdulillah, over the nine years, we've achieved that. Bale. I don't think there's any any case where someone can say, oh, my money didn't get there. Bale, bale. And we have raised a lot of money, alhamdulillah. Bale. So, bale. so we just wanted to be that platform bale. and alhamdulillah, bale. Bale. We, are, we have achieved that. Well, I think John, I think I'm going to say that 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 I'm going to say نمی فهم ما دیگه دوستا سر ما انتقاد نکنن من تا چیزی که ما شنیدیم یا منبرای ما که به ما گفتن که یگان دفعه که مثال پیسه دادن اونا تنها به مو امو منطقی خود کمک کردن یا مو بکراوند یا امو اگر مثال نمی خواهیم که زیاد ده چی برو مقصد یعنی اونا بوده دیگه بکراوند ها بوده اون تیک بله ایمال جانی بسار یک نقطه یک نقطه بسار مهم است Uh, this is a very important question. 
a lot of charities, like we said, I encourage people, all walks of life to come and help us and contribute so we can help end of day we're helping Afghans, our poor Afghans. But at the same time, I encourage everyone, whoever can, who's able to set up more charities. The Afghanistan, even if there's thousands of char- a thousand charities from our Afghan community, it's still not enough. But, but poverty in Afghanistan is to, to a level that uh, yeah. is probably in no other country. Yeah. So we encourage more, uh, more charities to be set up and... Uh, and and to go back to your to your point about money going to a particular group of people one of the first thing we raised with our contacts the, my first phone phone call with in afghanistan was we don't want money to go to shia sunni tajik azara uh, uzbek kolomo i know undu undu afghanas afghanas and sonas arkas ye gharib as paisa bar mu bara that was our point from day one they won and I made that clear, our team made it clear in Afghanistan and that's why uh, there's no discrimination whatsoever. Money goes to Hoover mm. is in need. And we're and all Afghans, pretty, we're all Muslim. I think that's pretty evident when you go through our videos as well is that you see a, a huge racial, not racial mix because we're all Afghans, but you see mm. a huge mix of um, people that are Azara, people that are Pashto, people that different are um, speaking yeah. different dialects. Yeah. 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 We've always yes. had that. yeah, of course. And that's a great thing. And it shows you unity and love and respect. And obviously, um, helping someone doesn't see any of those. So, you know, it's, it's charity. Um, and obviously, it's, uh, we should all give generously if we can. And, um, you know, I hope this um, interview or information session that we're having, it will be uh, useful for our members and Sydney Afghans and um, they can, you know, uh, have the knowledge and be confident that, you know, the money is going there 100% and obviously they can get in touch with you guys and ask more questions if they have to. Um, also, just um, in terms of your team, so are you guys looking to expand the team? Um, are you guys looking to have, have it in other countries or is it already branched out to other countries or is it for now just uh, in Australia and uh, back home? If at the moment it's we're managing well with what we have but if anyone wants to ever volunteer their time they're more than welcome sure. to we're happy to bring them on board and have them help sure. out there's a lot of duties that our 10 volunteers take on and it takes up a lot of time so sure. more than happy to share what we can that we can delegate sure. that's, that's always more than welcome in terms of um yeah definitely if we have reliable contacts that we can yeah. that have the time to spend on the charity course, we'd be yeah. more than happy to reach yeah. out to them but um that's a good idea like honestly yeah. i don't think we've thought about it before but happy yeah. to take that on board and see how we go with it yeah anything uh, like that or is there a website as well that they can go on to or is it just facebook at the moment we definitely have a website. We've got Facebook and we've got okay. Instagram now too that we're okay. becoming very vocal on because um, social yeah. media is booming. Yeah. yeah. Um, the website is stop.org, I believe, yeah. Addy. It's, yes. I've got the favourite saved on my link, so I never type sure, it in. Sure. I just click on it. No problem. Right we'll, we'll definitely um, get the link off you and obviously um, share it on our Sydney Afghans page and to our friends and family as well. Um, and also a lot of, um, especially the, the youth here, um, they think they, they can't do anything. They'll say, oh, look, you know, it's out of our hands. You know, we, we don't know about politics. We don't know about what's happening back home. We don't have any family there. Um, what, what's the message about how would you encourage them or, you know, what, what do they need to do? I think the biggest advice that I can give is going back to the hadith of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, where he says that even smiling is a charity. So you don't need to necessarily give money in order to be helping those people, just sharing our posts, yeah. liking our posts, spreading awareness, yeah. um, even just commenting something nice about those families or wanting to help. As yeah. long as the intention's there and you're doing supporting not just our charity, but any charity in some way, I think that goes a huge way like you said yourself what you, you may not have physically donated but what you're doing right now on this yeah. platform for us is huge yeah. and you know inshallah you will be rewarded no, for that you. by anyone who does donate you'll be getting some of the sawab too yeah i was so, um actually looking at uh, one of uh, um our young afghans who 
I guess I'm not sure if he's, uh, you know, uh, has been working with you guys, but, you know, um, he's obviously posted something on his Facebook and said that he'll, you know, for the awareness, um, he'll be shaving his head. So, um, Ali John, and there are a lot of uh, youth like this as well. Like, do you come across like, you know, you've been um, doing this for nine years as well? Yeah, uh, Emil John, definitely. Look, uh, definitely everyone can contribute. For example, tonight you're contributing greatly towards this cause because your viewers, whether 10 people see the video or a thousand people, you've done your bit. And that's what, you know, we're all doing. If we all do our bit, contribute in whichever way we can, Alhamdulillah, that will make a huge difference. Um, and yes, Ali John, uh, Ali John Muradi, he's, uh, he's part of team, our team here in Sydney. Uh, young enthusiastic alhamdulillah he's always contributing and he's raised uh, i believe um, over the last 24 hours probably close to uh if i'm not wrong probably eight ten thousand no. just by him to offer his no, uh, to shave his head no. imagine what happened if i shave my head as the president <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, um, yeah. that's very nice to see you know our uh, especially our youth community you know so uh, engaged and you know have that feeling and you know uh, do all this kind of awareness on social media um atijan ek sawal muhim dega ke bud dosta pursan me ke chun vaziyat afghanistan al felan ek qism namalum ast va mega banka o ya basta ast ye ami paisa ba hisab shoma mira ba ek mudat nigah mekinen ya misal koshish mekinen ke aaj ka zutar امیر روان کنین بعد از امی اپیلتان که وقتش پوره میشه بله ایمال جان بسار سوال خوب تشکر یام باید کلیر شد امی اپیل خدا که ما در اش روز پیش رو کردیم امور ما we made it clear in every post and on even the whatsapp ما در فیسبوک در اینستگرام all social media we have mentioned that we running the appeal for 10 days and at the end of the 10 days normally we start sending the money mm. from previous appeals. In, right. in the past, that's what we did. But yeah. unfortunately, due to conditions in Afghanistan, if we are unable, so we yeah. put if we can, for whatever reason, we're going to hold hold on to the money for another two weeks. Right. At the end of the two weeks, inshallah, I'm confident that, look, uh, the banks will open, whether it's Western Union, and things will get back to normal. We, we're all praying for that. Right. Um that's another two weeks plus two days so 16 days i'm sure i'm sure things will get better okay. worst case scenario if we are unable anyone who wants uh, a refund inshallah we'll we'll give him a right. refund uh, so, so you know, there, there is the right so option. obviously there is that option and they can be assured that if you know, if, if, some, but, if the money we gonna, occur, inshallah we're gonna do everything we can in our power to send the money yeah, of course we're gonna do everything we can to send look we've never had that problem before Okay. We've always never had the problem of uh, the the problem we have we're facing right now. We've never oh. experienced this before. Of so. course, of course, uh, that's uh, excellent. Um, and Nila Fajan, I just wanted to quickly ask you um, in terms of the uh, charity organization. So, do you guys have bigger visions, or do you, you guys just want to keep it as it is? You know, like ha how fast did it grow from the nine years? You know, so what's what's the vision in the future? I think because we did grow at such a, although it took, you know, nine years, it was quite rapid speed yeah. for two yeah. people and we slowly grew the team. Now that we have a good set of structure in place, yeah. then yeah. I think as long as the turmoil in Afghanistan does calm down soon, we might be able to grow it. It's just yeah. that we've, we've been so busy. We've always just been reactive to what's happening. Yeah, yeah. But um, with more time, energy, ideas, resources, I think we'll definitely be able to be yeah. proactive and become more trying to grow it rather right, than trying right. to maintain what yeah. we have and just get more families yeah. on board. Right, right. And um, usually is is this a charity just in Kabul or other, other um, towns and cities around Afghanistan? At the moment, it's only in Kabul because our right. contacts are in Kabul. Right. Okay. So obviously, as our team in Afghanistan, um, yeah. if, if they have the resources there to start growing, we might yeah. be able to, in the yeah. future down the track, be able to expand right. to other cities too. Right. Right. But at the moment, because our contacts and our, our security and everything is in right. Kabul, that's yeah. the only region or that's the only city we can help at the moment. Right. Right. Well, I can just add one thing. Yes. Uh, Emil John, maybe yes. uh, My first contact to Kabul nine years ago, September 2012. 
Yeah. Actually, we asked them that, look, we want to help four or five families. Yeah. And if yeah. we can, maybe grow up to 10 families. Right. That was the, that was uh, initially, that's what we wanted. Just help about five, yeah. six to 10 families. We would have yeah. been very happy at the time. Right. Nani is on. It's 120 families on top of these appeals. Like just right. two weeks ago, we sent over $50,000 to Afghanistan. Uh, so much. annually, we leave, just our sponsorship is about 200000 a year because we, at the moment, right. we're sending to right. Afghanistan. On top right. of that, we have these appeals. Yeah. So at that time, if someone told us, look, in 90 East time, you, you guys will be sending 200000 or 250000 yeah. you know, we wouldn't. But yeah. my, my point is, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with us, and something we're doing for the sake of God, for the sake Inshallah. of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and we work hard towards it, Inshallah. and that transparency is important. We're showing our people what we're doing. Like Inshallah. I said, people are generous and they'll contribute. And, yeah. and uh, we, we should never put a limit. It's like running a business. If you say, yeah. we want to stop growing when we reach... When we yeah. reach $1 million, then yeah. it's not good. The sky's the limit. Keep going. There's <laughs> yeah. no limit yeah. whether we can one day work in Africa or Syria yeah. or Iraq yeah. or whatever. Uh, it's hopefully, like. inshallah. With the help of our Afghan community and yeah. non-Afghan community and people like yourself and yeah. uh, inshallah, anything yeah. is I think it's come up in discussions in the past within the team too that one day we might want to open or if we have the, the money and the resources over in our, our own orphanage there in Afghanistan. Right. So it depends on how things go. Right, right. No. And also, um, uh, I guess there's a lot of Afghan communities registered in um, around Australia and specifically in Sydney from obviously different ethnicities and uh, religious groups. Um, uh, would you guys obviously, um, uh, have they been supportive as well or uh, do some of them know about you guys or they don't? Um, I don't know, Atik John, if, if you've been with in, in touch with community leaders or... Uh... Well, John, brother, uh, one thing initially we did, we never attached our... our we, we just wanted to keep our charity Mm. Like obviously, there's a lot of communities and mosques in Sydney. Mm. We didn't mm. want to attach associate, ourselves, associate uh, with, with, the, yeah. look, with any anyone. We just wanted to work together with the youth of Af Afghan youth in Sydney around Australia. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, um, yep. And we have achieved that. Inshallah, by right. doing that, that means we're open to anyone. Of course, so of course. Inshallah. The pages like yourself, or there's a few yeah. other big pages uh, in Af yep. uh, like in Sydney. Yeah. If, if we work together and uh, you guys share our post, and of inshallah, we, we will reach out to all, all of those. Uh, the help of social media, you know, it's just a click of a button. They can send the of money. Course, yeah. And we have, like, we've got sponsors from right now, like I said, from at least five, six other countries around the world. Uh, and alhamdulillah, you know, it's a privilege for us to be. So we, we can serve our Afghans in other parts inshallah, of the world inshallah. but at the end of the day our objectives our goals for all afghans are to help these innocent people that uh they're suffering uh, poverty yeah, uh, no other country hmm. has endured like what afghanistan has over the yeah. last 43 years of war yeah. uh in poverty and um, mm -hmm. afghanistan was already a poor country yeah so, uh, Fajan, was there anything at the end that you wanted to uh uh, let us know or anything that we've missed um, in the questions or any more information. Um, I guess can. I just want to say thank you so much to all of our donators, anyone who's donated even just once, even if it was just a dollar. Thank you so much. Um, like we said earlier, every cent goes a long way. Um, and also thank you to our team of volunteers who um, unfortunately couldn't make it tonight, but they're doing so much work behind the scenes. Yeah. They keep the charity running. Yeah. And thank you so much, Sathik John, for keeping yeah. everyone in line and check and yeah. checking up and making sure everyone, you know, um, yeah. doing everything that goes on. Of course. The and I, I guess, like, the team is very important in any, you know, organization or, you know, workplace or whatever. Um, you need to have the proper people, proper team, and people that actually, you know, uh, have the passion to. Uh, for this um, charity and um, so I guess uh, you know you guys have set it up properly and you know for the past nine years so which is an excellent job um, and uh, you know I wish you all the best um, Atik John as well and you guys Nilifar John. Um, Atik John is there anything um, that you wanted to add? If Pretty much uh, Emma John firstly I'd like to thank you for for giving us the opp opportunity it's a privilege for us to be here with um, your your page Sydney Afghans. 
Thank Look, you. you, you obviously, you guys, yourself, you're doing great work with the community in Sydney. Thank We've you. seen what your posts, inshallah, and hopefully we can be more productive, work together. Uh, so thank you once again. We, we really appreciate um, your help. Thanks. And I'd like to thank our team here. The other 10 members or 12 members, they couldn't make it tonight. Uh, mm. Without them, uh, our, our work, it's impossible to achieve what yeah. we've achieved. And also without our donators, the people yeah. who are donating, like I said, like Nilofar John said, $1 or a $1,000, whatever. We thank everyone from the bottom of our, our, our hearts, as well as the volunteers in Afghanistan. Those guys, they're really, really putting their lives yeah um, on the line yeah the people uh, on the ground you know there's yeah. stories there's stories over the last nine years that i've had that you know near death uh experiences for them because in afghanistan sometimes they'll kill you for ten dollars so mm. imagine yeah but you know uh, alhamdulillah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does protect everyone yeah. and we thank everyone and i my final message is to mm. all our community mm. uh that if we can work together, inshallah, if there's um, respect and um, uh, tolerance and uh, we work together as a community, inshallah, we can, inshallah, can achieve a lot. We can achieve a lot. Inshallah. Well, thank you very much. And I also want to see my friends who are here. I want to see my friends. 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 ایسه و نرستم یا می خانم یا میزیک پلی می کنم در محفلا و فیستیوالا یا منتا sometimes you just need to put those things aside and step up you know in, in times of uh, need and crisis if, if we are uh, good at speaking or you know we can organize something and that's I, I, so which date is the appeal um, finishing? Is there the appeal is finishing I think we have another two days from our another initial ten days. days okay and then we have we will if unable to send the money most probably that's what's happening right now we will extend yeah. it for another two weeks so yeah. that gives the opportunity for more people course, to donate inshallah. yeah yeah uh, inshallah but we will we'll, we got through our social media inshallah. and whatsapp we will update everyone inshallah. daily uh, and uh, one last thing maybe sure. she, um, my job, sure. firstly allah someone has given you a great voice for uh, with your singing and that <laughs> maybe another way you can contribute is do uh, of course i'm not i'm, I'm, I'm not sure because if you've got great voice you got talent why not <laughs> why not useful in the community uh not only you know just in uh in a, a certain uh, field but inshallah why not و انشالله بخیر خداوند شما را هر جی شب تک کمک میکنین و یک سیله هستین که مو کسای در افغانستان کمک میکنین بازم تشکر تل نکسا تشکر ایمان جان خدا خیرت به طبیعه دار تشکر خدا حافظ باشی جور باشی تشکر خدا حافظ شما خدا حافظ خدا حافظ